G'day guys, so I'm here to talk to you about uh, just something I've been working on just for, for fun, kind of like a hobby. Um, as you can tell in front of you, you've got solar panels and some form of battery or you know battery pack. Um, so what I've been working on is this thing here. Um, and this thing here is, is what I like to call a solar generator. Um, solar comes in, charges a battery, and you have your load, your output, to anything like... Um, you know, uh, inverters like this one here, where you can charge laptops, um, mobile phones with their wall outlet plugs, or batteries for your tools, which is one of the main reasons I uh, actually made this device. Um, yeah, so let's just get into a bit of it to, you know, how it works and what it does. So remember, this is just like a, a basic prototype. I'm just mucking around with different components uh, to see how it goes, um, to see what's the most efficient uh, process and stuff like that. So at the moment, let's have a look and I'll tell you what's inside. So before I even show you this, yeah, that's the inside. But what we have in front of me here is a 20 watt, 12 volt solar panel. What we have here is a 10 watt, 12 volt solar panel. So we're using a 12 volt system for this um yeah so basically you open it up what do you have inside you have a little cable that i made up to use for the solar panels to connect to so if you look on the side of the case here this just plugs into the into the sockets there and then you can connect it to the panel for the charge to come in okay we obviously have our 12 volt 9 amp hour battery here um that's where the charge is stored and the load is taken from if we lift up this piece of timber it's just plywood you can see the insides. We take out, we have spare fuse, some spare wire. Um, the wire can also be used as an extension to this wire here to get it further away. Um, we have some spare crimp connectors and fuses and stuff like that just to make sure, you know, in case anything happens, we can still use it. So this is the guts of the unit pretty much. We have on the left here, we have the charge controller. Um, we also have the load output. Uh, we have a few fuses, we have the load on off switch, which everything goes to there, and we have the solar panel input just here, which is obviously on the side. So again, how it works is the solar charge will come in through the panel input and go to the charge controller. The charge controller will then sense how much voltage the battery has and how much it needs to be fully charged and send that voltage and amperage to the battery to charge it up, top it off, whatever. Depending whether it's on a on a a float cycle or a boost cycle, you know, or a recovery cycle. Um, this is a PWM pulse width modulation charger. Um, it's not the most efficient, but when I started building this about a year ago, um, it's been on and off for about a year. It didn't take me a year. Uh, it's just been um, Something cheap and cheerful that I've used, just suss it out, see how it works. I actually have a few MPPT charge controllers, uh, maximum power point tracking, um, and they're on their way from good old China. So we'll see how all that goes and, and see if it increases charge efficiency. It should up to about 10 to 30 percent. I don't think 30 percent, I really think about 10 percent, but it all helps. Anyway, so we could take the battery out like this. Replace it with another one if it dies, or you know, a bigger one, whatever. And like I said, this is just a, a, a beta, an alpha even, of just what I've been working on, just to test components and see how they all work. Plug the battery in, and we're now good to go with a load. Um, but yeah, so basically, this thing can run the current size of this system. Um, is a 108 watt hour battery, which is a 12 volt battery at 9 amp hours. Um, so 108 watt system. Um, I use mainly the 20 volt panel, uh, 20 watt panel to charge this, and it can go from empty to a full charge in around five to six hours of sunlight, which is plenty considering, you know, we live in Australia and 
it's all good. And if you have an overcast day like it is today, you add the 10 watt panel to the 20 watt panel in parallel, um, and that'll give you a 30 watt panel um, to charge even faster. I'm not 100% sure of the time, but it'll be less than 5 hours, that's for sure. Um, and yeah, so that's basically it for this unit here. Let me just pop it all back in together, get it out of the way. There we go. The cardboard's only there just to stop the contacts from touching the roof, that's all. But yeah. So, as we can see, if I plug in the inverter, at the moment the inverter's off, it's on, see nothing. Flick the on switch, now it's on, the green LED's on. So that's actually powering the 150 watt inverter right now. Turn it off, you just flick it off. No biggie. So I actually, like I said, I use this to charge these batteries using this charger. Um, so I use that charger into this inverter to this battery. It's not the most efficient, but it works. And it means I can charge my power tool batteries anywhere I have sunlight. On a boat, in the bush, on the roof, doesn't matter. The reason why I've got this here is because this jump start kit is actually very similar to this a solar generator it has a battery inside it which this has it has 12 volt DC output which this has and it also has an input right on the front here which this has so what I'm trying to say is this could also be modified to be a solar generator. Um, all you would need to do is modify the charging circuit uh, with basically installing a charge controller in the charging circuit which is not difficult um, and get your solar panels to plug in directly to this slot here. Job's done. You have a light, you have a DC voltmeter and that's pretty much it. Take this, your solar panel, you have a jump start kit, a light, DC out to use your appliances on, a nice carry handle, not a zip tie carry handle, <laughs> but yeah, so that's another idea there too, something that can be used um, so you don't have to start from scratch, but yeah, so that's just something I'm working on at the moment, I love the whole solar off-grid stuff, um, next thing I'll probably get into is, is um, wind generators, and all that, just like small light portable that you can take camping with you and you have power for as long as you need to. Um, you know, with a bigger battery you could power something like a fridge, like a, a portable camping fridge, um, and stuff like that. So yeah, that's just something I'm working on, thought it was cool, so I'd share it, and yeah, cool. Alright, see you guys, bye.